is up, play it, people. Hey, it's Tuesday again, and it's time for a bonus episode of the Planthropology Podcast, the show where we dive into the lives, careers, and general awesomeness of some very, very cool, very wonderful plant people. I'm Vikram Baliga, your host and your humble guide, and I'm so happy to be with you today. So it's time again for the Wild Green Memes for Ecological Fiends charity battle. And if you don't know what that is, just Hold on, I'll explain it in just a minute. But uh, Wild Green Memes is the best space on the internet. And I say that without hesitation. Um, It's a great meme group on Facebook. I know, I know what you're thinking. It's a meme group. It's it's special, it's different. So I'm gonna talk more about the group in just a minute. But the Charity Battle is an annual event that the admins and the moderators for Wild Green Memes put together to benefit a number of ecological nature charities conservancies and uh different groups so i'll talk about this year's groups here in just a minute and the beneficiaries of this fundraiser i'll talk about past winners and and what all of this nonsense means in just a minute but first some housekeeping thanks as always for supporting planthropology y'all i can't tell you how much it means that you listen to this nerdy little show i was um Looking at some analytics for the show the other day, and, and it's got 70,000 downloads as of the, the launch of this episode. 70,000 downloads. That is wild to me. It's been listened to on every continent on the planet, I guess except for Antarctica. So if you're one of our Antarctic listeners, let me know because you're not being represented in my data. I don't know if that's a thing. Are there people down there? There's a few people. Anyway, I digress. Really what I'm trying to say is thank you. Thank you for being a part of this. Thank you for everything you do. If you want to connect with Planthropology, hit me up on social media. I am on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter as Planthropology or some variation that uh, thereof. Search for Planthropology. It's a anthropology with a PL slapped on the front part. Look for the bristlecone pine with a green background, and that'll be me. I'm also on the TikTok machine as at the Plant Prof. So go follow me there. It's it's a lot of fun. Lots of nonsense, lots of plant content and academic content, just whatever else you can think of. Thanks, as always, to the Texas Tech Department of Plant and Soil Science for the wonderful support and just for being, again, a part of this great thing. And I could not do the show without the support of my boss and my college and my department. It's just been really wonderful. So, uh, yeah, that's all. All the housekeeping. Let's talk memes. Okay, so what is Wild Green Memes for Ecological Fiends? So it's a meme group, as the name might suggest. It's a meme group, however, that just passed 400,000 members. Totally wild, totally wild. Um, And and if you've been a longtime listener of the show, you've heard me talk about this before. Um, Two of the admin team, uh, Curtis Sarkin and Rhett Barker, were both on the podcast. Gosh, in 2020. So yeah, last year and talking about what they do and the goals for the group. And it just started off as a ecological meme group that's really evolved into something special and pretty amazing. Um, It is again, a Facebook group. And I don't know if you realize this, but Facebook is a hellscape of a website. Ha, it's awful. It's awful with the information, misinformation and uh, true information that's just mean and everything else that has to go into Facebook. It has really turned into something kind of terrible. But this is a good space. Um, the mod squad, as they call themselves, the admins and the moderators have managed to cultivate an environment where we can talk all day and uh, post about, I don't know, everything from Bradford pears to capybaras and everything and anything ecological in between, but we all get along. It is so well moderated and so well curated. It is so much fun. So if you're not part of Wild Green Memes for Ecological Fiends, I would strongly suggest you go join it. It's a good time. It is positive. It's uplifting. It's educational. And it is just hilarious. Some of I I share memes from there all the time, and um, people think I'm a nerd, and I am, so it's okay. So where did the charity battle come from? Um, I believe in 2018, if that's correct, I, I, I'm pretty sure 2018, 
they got the idea of, well, we've got this big platform. There's a bunch of people involved. Why don't we see if we can raise some money for charity to support wildlife and support conservation and support uh, just the mission of Wild Green Memes. And in fact, since then, a nonprofit has started called Wild Green Future um, that works to raise money and work with different groups. We'll talk about that more in just a second. But the first year uh, charity battle um, raised about $2,000, which is amazing, right? I think from a meme group, people uh, donating, I'll tell you how the mechanics of it work in just a minute. Um, so the first year was two thousand dollars in in twenty or in two thousand eighteen, two thousand nineteen they raised about ten thousand dollars, and last year in twenty twenty, Wild Green Memes for Ecological Fiends um, through the charity battle raised seventy two thousand six hundred sixty seven dollars and thirty six cents for charity. Can, can, uh, that's wild, y'all. Seventy two thousand dollars. Uh, seven times more than the year before. I can't imagine what this year is going to look like. I I foresee a hundred thousand dollars plus, and and a lot of good is done. So how how does it work? So people in the group can start gangs, not like not like West Side Story, and not like the aggressive, you know, rob your house and slash your tires kind of gang, but the ecological type. So uh, looking at some of the standings from last year, just to give you an idea of what some of these gangs are, there are essentially people that like a certain animal or a certain nature thing, and they start a funny gang, and we share memes, and we fundraise within the gang. So the top five gangs from last year were Trash Mob, at least 74 practicing shark researchers, Bird Herd, Capybara Lounge, and Herp Gang. So those are the top five. So kind of how it works is right now, as I'm recording this, we're in the voting stage and we're voting for the top five gangs. After that, we go into the donation phase, which lasts two weeks, I believe, from uh, November 30th to December 15th. And people donate to whichever group that they want to affiliate themselves with. Now, last year, the Botanical Bunch came in seventh which was pretty respectable. Botanical Bunch, us plant nerds, raised $2,829.11 for charity. This year, and I, it hurts my heart parts to say this, I don't think Botanical Bunch is going to make the top five. We're currently in eighth place, and we're behind by like 2,000 votes. It's probably not going to happen. So that's unfortunate. But there is a chance that we can buy back in. So all of my plant nerds out there, you plant people, join Wild Green Memes and look for the opportunity to buy Botanical Bunch back in. The way it's going to work is every day um, people can buy in one group. It starts with a $1 donation to try to buy in your group on day one, and it doubles every day. So if you can get in early, get Botanical Bunch back into it, let's do the thing. I'm going to try my hardest too, okay? So let's make that happen for botanical bunch we can't let um plants not be represented in in this charity battle right so right now the top five groups are trash mob who have a resounding league so trash mob would include people that like creatures like raccoons or uh opossums and other bears do bears belong in trash mob i feel like they do uh number two is leviathan lobster gang uh, number three is Corvid Council. Number four, again, is at least 74 practicing shark researchers. And number five is Hup Squad. And as of the recording of this podcast episode, Herp Gang is on the outside looking in. In fact, the first two years, Herp Gang was the winning mob, 2018 and 2019. But in 2020, Trash Mob took over. So we must defeat the trash mob plant people. So this for the next month is going to be a full on botanical bunch propaganda machine. Okay. So you're going to see a lot of garbage from me about sticking it to the trash mob. Get it? Because garbage, you get it. Okay. So we're going to have to first buy back in the botanical bunch. I'm going to try my best to do that myself. And then two, we're going to have to figure out how to defeat these uh, uh, trashy, trashy marsup- marsupials and rodent. What is, is a raccoon a rodent? I don't know anything about animals, y'all. Somebody, somebody tell me. Somebody fill me in. 
Um, but I will put lots more information in there about it. So let's talk about how the actual money works, like what happens to the money that you donate. So this year, um, the donations start at $5, and you can donate to whichever gang you want. Now, this money all gets put into one pool, and it goes to specific um, charities not necessarily related to the gang that you donate to. Um, but it's all for a good cause and, you know, you get bragging rights. And if you donate at least $10, uh, you get a sticker, um, of the mob that you donate to, which I think is pretty cool. And at the end, usually there's a lightning round or something like that. And you get a chance to pick up a lot more stickers. You can support as many gangs as you have the money to do. So money to do with, I don't know how to say that anyway. So there's a lot of cool stuff you can do, but the money itself will go to a number of organizations. So last year, the money raised went through to supporting three different organizations. The first was uh, sustaining the Brazil Nut Corridor um, through the Alliance for a Sustainable Amazon. The second was um, raising money to build and buy solar panels for the Ashton Biological Preserve, which I believe is in Florida. And the third was to go towards mapping Borneo's rural roads because having good maps and having good access to different areas is actually super important to conservation so that conservationists can actually get out to help conserve vital ecosystems. Um, This year, the three charity partners are the Urban Rivers Initiative, uh, which is based in Chicago, and it's dedicated to building a mile-long eco-park in the Chicago River as habitat for wildlife and insects and pollinators. The second is, and I hope I'm pronouncing this right, the Palouse Land Trust, which is based in north central Idaho in the Palouse uh, ecoregion. And it is aimed at preserving native habitat for, again, um, pollinators, insects, animals, plants, and things like that. And the third one is a nonprofit called Current Problems, which is a river cleanup group. Um, Right now, Current Problems has between 7 and 13 river cleanups um, every month, uh, primarily in Florida. And they have removed over 933 thousand pounds of waste in their 28 years of work. So all very worthy charities. And I hope that Wild Green Memes and us as a group can raise a lot of money. So um, the donations will and, and sticker page where you can go in and donate to get a sticker for whichever gang you choose will be at wildgreencharitybattle.org. That will go live today if you're listening to this on the day it drops. If not, it should be up and running already. And uh y'all, again, this is a fun thing. It's 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 a lot of fun. Um and again, join the group. I would encourage you to the memes are top notch, you know, chef's kiss wonderful. You can submit your own memes. You can come up with your own ecological memes. There's rules and they have to be approved and all of that. But this is really a good cause. If you want to support education in uh, ecology, which this meme group, believe it or not, does a lot of education. I've learned a lot uh, just through being a part of it and laughing at all the nonsense. And if you want to support real actual charities that have feet on the ground, boots on the ground, trying to help our natural ecosystems and wild areas survive, this is one of the best things you can be a part of. Really, again, this meme group is raising tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars to um, support conservation. So I'm going to put one more plug in for the Botanical Bunch. If none of y'all do it, I'm going to have to do it myself. In fact, I'm so committed to this that if you make a donation Uh, to this year's charity battle send me proof take a screenshot of your donation submission and i'll match donations this month up to 150 dollars. so if y'all will go and donate to wild green memes send me proof that you've done that i'll match donations from all of y'all up to 150 dollars towards botanical bunch or if it doesn't get added back in whichever plant related gang happens to be available And uh, again, I I really believe in what these guys are doing. I really believe in what the organization stands for. And I'll put my money where my mouth is. So again, make a donation, send me proof, and I will match donations up to 150 bucks in December of 2021. So that's all. 
be wild, be green, be meme Go j- join uh, Wild Green Memes for Ecological Fiends. Go take part in the charity battle. Again, these folks work really hard, really, really hard to make all this flow smoothly, to keep it a positive space, and to make the charity battle what it should be. So, folks, you know how much I love you, you nerdy plant people. I hope that you are having a great start to your December, a good end to your 2021. I hope that you keep being cool, and I hope that you keep being kind to each other. And if you have not at this point been kind to each other, now's a great time to start. I love you folks, and we will talk very soon.